What's good YouTube and it's your boy Doyle back with another video man today's video we gotta break this these DMs down now this video is not even that deep but we just gotta get some clear understanding going on you know what I'm saying um I think a lot of us is getting a little bit confused when it comes to trading and how we should view trading or how should we go about going full time with trading um I asked, I asked Instagram, um, do you need to be a full-time trader to be considered a successful trader? Like 85% of y'all said no, 15% of y'all said yeah, and my answer for that is no, okay? Um, okay, so let's just break down his DMs, right? So this guy overseas, I'm pretty sure he's from Africa. Um, cool dude. I'm not trying to bash him in this video. This is just an example so I can help other church have a, a clear understanding so He's 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 fearful of being in a market and trading is his only income Okay Now I, I helped him out in the DMs. Like I already asked his questions and all of that, but The number one issue is trading is his only income that's why I keep trying to explain. Well, I don't try to explain. I'm trying to bring some awareness to people that the definition of a full-time trader shouldn't just be, oh, I only trade. That's my only job. Bro, you got to understand that trading is a business, okay? Businesses hit, take hits, okay? So trading, even if you are consistently profitable, your trading account is not going to always be consistently profitable. If that makes sense. You're not, it's not going to always be up. It's not going to always go up. You're going to have bad months, bad quarters. Like that's just what it, that's part of trading because it's a business. It's a risk. Okay. Yes. You can be consistently profitable over a long period of time, but expect me for your account to grow every single week. That's cap. That's just cap. So, Imagine you being in his shoes. This is your only stream of income. This is what you are relying on to pay your bills. Even if you are a good trader, that that's going to take a toll on you emotionally. You're going to be so attached to every single trade. In the back of your head, you can be like, damn, dog. If I don't really have a good week, my lights might get turned off. Type shit. Real talk. Who want to be under that type of stress trader? You got to understand, man. If you have another stream of income or you have a side hustle, trading would be so like stress free, man. That's why I be trying to tell people, like, okay, you can be a full time trader, cool. You can show up to the market every single day, cool. But you need something else. You need something else. Like, what, what do you like doing? Like, what you want to start streaming? You into gaming? You you want to do hair? Like, do something else, man. Because once you got another stream of income coming in. You come to the market not caring about it. And that what makes you even a colder trader when you don't care about the outcome. When you so attached like dog, like it's almost the first of the month. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you stressing out because you like, I ain't even growing my account. I'm about to force this trade. And I'm about to get out with with up two pips. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be so emotional because you know if you don't perform well, your surroundings might, you know, take a take a hit on that. So Man, for people that want to go full time, please have another stream, stream of income. It don't have to be a job, but something, man. Real estate, um, you cut some grass or something, do something. I don't know. It could be anything, but just have another stream of income that's consistent. That's more consistent than trading. Trading is a business, dog. Like think about it. Those losses that we take, that's just a regular business taking a hit. Like. This shit is a business, okay? So, um, I always recommend having another stream of income. Always. Like, whether it's YouTube, whether it's 
whatever you're good like anything just get into something else dog that's it that's it and that's why he's fearful that's literally why he's fear. I, like soon as soon as i saw that message i'm like okay that's why you only got one stream income you're relying on this too much when you stop relying on trading trading become easier it actually become fun it's like okay that's cool i took a hit okay i got my other shit coming in at the end of the month so okay i ain't tripping it's less stressful, man. Trading will become so much easier, but when you, even if you are a funded trader, even when you're funded, still have something else. Always have a plan B for shit, bro. Now we real traders over here, but we gotta have a safety net. You know what I'm saying? Always have a safety net. Have something on the back burner. You know what I'm saying? Get into like drop shipping or something. It's so much to do that it's like, why put all your eggs in one basket? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so much to do when it comes to online or even physical, like like real estate or it's so much to do. But um, you don't want to be in a position where you're relying too much on trading when this is a risk at the end of the day. Like, yeah, we have strategies. Like, we have strategies and tactics that we can do, but it's still, we don't know the next move. We don't know the next move. No trader know what's about to happen. Yes, you can have all your, your your everything marked up, your zones marked up, but we just going off of what happened previously. That don't mean it's going to happen this time. You can't win every trade, so it's just like, I always recommend having a second stream of income. That's consistent. So for this guy, he need another stream of income, and another real reason why he's probably fearful is he haven't been on the demo account long enough. He don't trust his system, though. That, bro... If you not own, if you didn't practice your strategy or your system on demo, and you're you're practicing you're practicing your strategy live, cancel Christmas, bro. Cancel Christmas, bro, because you're you're done. You're done. You're not even getting real data because you're so you're not even performance to get good data. You get what I'm saying? Because you're so you're you're fearful and then you're not trusting the strategy so the data that you're about to get the, the results you're about to get is not even accurate so go go on demo so you can get some real data see how effective the strategy is what 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 can you do to improve the strategy when is it not effective and then you can accumulate like a, a, a real statistic like a percentage like okay this is a 60 percent winning strategy this is a 70 80 percent winning strategy now you know like okay if i win three in a row expect another expect the loss real soon type shit like you know what i'm saying you got to get data but when you're trying to go live practicing a damn system you don't even know the real statistic or the real um win percentage you don't know you know so he need to go on demo he need to go on demo for a little bit a lot of people don't want to go on demo because time is everything nobody want to wait and see you know put the time in so i understand but bro if you don't have confidence you're done. I always like confidence is everything in trading, bro. Because, like I said, we don't know the next move. If you don't believe it's not going to hit your take profit, you're going to get out of that trade when you're up three, four pips. Because you're just so scared. You know what I'm saying? So, um, demo trading, he need to go to demo. He need another stream of income. And trading will be less stressful for him. Like, for real, it will be less stressful for him. Um, that's about it on this video. I wanted to keep this short and sweet, but I just wanted to bring some awareness when it comes to full-time trading. You need something else, man. I don't think nobody really talk about this. I think everybody think that once you become a successful trader, you're only trading like, you know, Forex money. Like you're just trading profits. No, man. Every Everybody that that you see on YouTube, they have other streams of income. I have other streams of income, okay? I won't come on here and act like I don't. I do, okay? So you need to get another stream of income. You do. So you won't be stressful. You be in trades, calm. Like your your trading psychology will be so much. It will be a, the next step higher than, than the other person that's just, just solely relying on this trade to go right. Like you're praying that the trade will go right. You know what I'm saying? It's going to mess you up. Your, your performance is going to drop when you're praying for a trade to work out. Trust me, man. So, get when you become consistently profitable, 
when you get funded, whatever your goal is when it comes to trading, once you meet that goal, get into something else. I'm gonna say it again. Once you become consistently profitable or you get funded, whatever your goal is when it comes to trading, get into something else, okay? That's all I wanna say on this video, man. I just have to just say that because a lot of people be getting this just uh, full-time trading stuff mixed up. Like, man, like I'm about to be a full-time trader and that's all I'm gonna be doing. Like, bro, please don't do that, bro. Don't do that, bro. This is a business. This stuff is not guaranteed. None of this is guaranteed. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to make a video, help somebody out, wake somebody up. Like, bro, like take the profits. If you're good, if you're a good trader or not, doesn't matter. Take those profits, get into something else, and keep trading. We, all, bro, I'ma still be trading regardless. Every day, every day, I'm showing up Monday to Friday trading. I'm only trading for like two, three hours anyway, and then get them to your other your businesses or whatever else you're doing. So I hope this video helped you, man. Um, yeah, I hope this get bring you some awareness about how we should really um, perceive full time trading and just. Um, solely relying on trading money like i hope this really helps so that's all i got peace and love